Good day everyone, my name is Dame Hart Arcevilla. We are the group 13 and the task given to us is social discrimination in the Philippines. Social discrimination refers to discrimination within the social system on the basis of sexual membership. With the concept of sexism, women define themselves for the first time as a social group and as a suppressed minority expressing basic political interest of being judged and valued in equal terms as men. For example, when the mountain people come near the seaside and was amid Amazed of what he sees and everyone is staring at him and laughing, discrimination doesn't choose the victims nor a place. There are a number of physical and mental effects open in you related to discrimination, including increased stress, depression, high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease, breast cancer, and even mortality. As it is stated earlier that discrimination doesn't choose its victims, no matter the age, disability, ethnicity, origin, political belief, race, religion, sex or gender, sexual orientation, language, culture, and any other grounds, in order to support my claim, I need some interview to know how discrimination takes place. So for me, social discrimination in terms of culture diversity, it can be defined as in as an inequality towards individuals on the basis of religion. When we say social discrimination, it is when persons and groups are treated unfairly or because of their gender, age, sexual orientation, and even color. And when we say culture diversity, it is the existence of arranged cultural groups within a society or the community. Here are some of the collected data based on my interview. First is, as a Muslim, my religion is Islam. I get discriminated because of my culture. They always accuse me of being a bad person. Anytime they hear or know about my culture or the religion itself, they also always wonder why do I follow our culture if it may be violated as well. For my second interview, yes, I had an experience of discrimination on my tribe and culture. When I was in grade school, because being from the mountain, I'm not really good in speaking Cebuano. Language and when my teacher and classmates are talking to me, I'm not able to answer them. To be honest, I understand what they are saying, but I don't know how to speak in their language. So they laugh at me and says that, OMG, the mountain girl, they don't know how to speak Bisaya. And some said that, Mom, she's blaan. At that time, as I remember, I ran away and start crying outside. Then after that, they... And after that, I don't want to go to school without my brother because when my brother is there, I feel safe. So that are the responses of my interviewee. For my suggestions, yes, we can't deny the fact that discrimination is one of the most common problems in every society, in our society, Philippines. As a person, we don't have the authority to discriminate someone because of what they have in their culture that we don't remember that we are living in a diverse society we are lack of information towards someone's religion beliefs race and race instead of discriminating why don't we help each other to understand and promote goodness in everyone's heart because helping is love and love is all about helping last my two cents social discriminations in the Philippines is political stance. The stance in politics is a major form of current political theories, as it is of all political theories intended for times of troubles. It possesses special characteristics, co concerns, and connections to aspects of political life. This is the contrast, the stance to other forms of theories and projects of actions. Then its sample stand making and taking among recent political theories, stands may conceive themselves to, to be key political actors. 
a healthy resi resi resilient democracy is based on inclusiveness with political parties and representatives institutions are in a key of positions to accept and guard. Ten poll policies for healthcare, climate, climate change, and immigration may roll the debate stage and media attentions, um, but these do down ballot issues also high among voter concern. A pleasant morning to each and everyone. My name is Laika Mikulano, and now we discuss about the social discrimination of the Philippines and its examples. In the Philippines, IPs have been subject to historical discrimination, marginalization from political process, and economic benefit. They often face exclusion, loss of a certain lands, displacement, pressure to and destruct of traditional ways of life, practiced and lost of identity and culture. Now, let's proceed to the importance of indigenous people. Indigenous people help protect our environment, fight climate change, and build resilience to natural disaster. Yet, the right aren't always protected. While indigenous people own, occupy, or use a quarter of the world's surface area, they are safeguard 80% of the world's remaining biodiversity. Common issues and problems of indigenous people in the Philippines. They are deprived of rights and opportunities to develop capacity to cope with fast-changing social, economic, and political environment. More issues of violence and brutality. My suggestion, respect all IPs, respect their cultures, and love them as they are. We are same humans and having the same rights. And that's all. Thank you.